events on LinkedIn. It's a fairly new feature and it's got a new addition. But often when you run events, you're running it for a business or a company and not necessarily for yourself. So if you look at a company page, where are events? Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was a little tab here that said events or maybe up here? But no, there's not. <laughs> now, this is a page I admin from the front end and let's look at the admin view. Where's the event management here? Hmm, don't see it yet. Now, what am I talking about? Well, on LinkedIn, we've got the events feature here. So if you're on your homepage, you scroll down this left tab here and you'll see events. Now, if you're using the mobile app, if you go to your profile, the little icon at the top um, right hand corner and click on it, don't go to view profile, but scroll down and you'll see things, you'll see all these options here, groups, hashtags, and events. And you can do it on mobile just the same as you can on desktop. So I'll show you one here, for instance, um, this one here. So this is an event that I created for my company. So you can see, see here the organizer is my business, Wildfire Social Marketing. Here's the information and you can, I can invite people and people can say they're attending. But it doesn't show up on my company, my business page on LinkedIn yet. So hopefully that feature is still coming. So this feature was only rolled out a couple of weeks ago. So how do you create an event for your business? So what you need to do is when you're on the, well, let's go back to the home feed so we're not in an event. So you're on the home feed you go down the left-hand panel to the events area and you click the plus icon. Now this feature has been around um, for a few months now. Um, it, it, was, it was rolled out early last year to some beta testers, so I've had it for a, quite a while, um, but it's, it's now being rolled out. And the new addition is this extra line here, this little field organizer. So now rather than being just yourself from your profile, you can click and pick a page that you're an admin of. So I can click the connection couch so now we can organize an event. Now you want to fill out all the information. So you want to have the event name, the location, the date, the times for starting and finishing, you obviously your time zone. You want to have a description. So if this is an event that you're publishing on your website or on say Eventbrite, grab the description, pop it in here. Ticketing. Now, one of the things I find with ticketing is that some people don't realize that for events that you need to actually book off LinkedIn because it's a fairly new feature. So in the description, you might want to put really clearly that, you know, if you'd like to come, please book a ticket by the ticketing link. Something like that. So people understand that they do need to book and potentially pay if it's a paid event. You can also set um, public events or private. So if it's, if it's invite only, then private will work for you. You want to have a um, thumbnail image for the event. So it could be your business logo. It could be your face. It could be something, an identity for the event, which is square. And then you've got this image here, which you want to create an image that's a four to one ratio. So if you're using a tool like Canva or another graphic design tool, just make sure that those are the dimensions so it fits. So for instance, you might do um, 400 um, high by 1600 pixels wide. That would be a way um, to, to work it. And obviously make sure there's nothing important in this little corner here where that sits over the top. So once you've created the event, I'll go back into another event that I've, I've created. So let's go into um, this one here. So this is another one I created um, under my business name. Now this is an event that I run with two other people, Marianne and Reg. So we are collaborating. So it would be useful if like Facebook, you could co-create um, an event. Now I can't add other businesses or individuals as um, you know admins or hosts of the event. So it's only one business or one person per event. So You've got to work out who's doing that. Or if it's a collaboration, do you all do it and all invite your own networks, knowing that there's going to be some crossover. So once you've got the event up, you can see here, we've got the banner, we've got the thumbnail, we've got the title, the timings, the locations, and the get tickets. So hopefully that's clear. So if you do see events and you, that you've been invited to, make sure that if there's a get ticket option that you do actually book. Now, once you've set up your event, you want to invite people. So you can see here, I've invited, but I can also invite more people. So if I click on invite, I can then um, do a, um, a filter, filter people down. So I might say, let's filter to Perth because this event is Perth. And I can go through, you know, say this is for marketing people, then I would go through to go to industries, marketing, advertising, apply. And that would mean this shortlist are people that are relevant. So I can go, you know, maybe pick Jo, maybe I want her to come for instance, let's click and invite her. So off we go, that's how we invite people. Then you can also let your network know about it. So share an update. 
And once again, you can change the voice. Now, this is, this is a company event. I'm sharing it as me personally. But I can choose, no, I can't choose a page at this point, sorry. No, it, it is just for me. Take that one back. You never know when they're going to be um, adding new things, but no, they haven't ha added that one. Um, and the other thing you can do is post in this event um, page. So I can click a post here and I can share something. Now you can see this is from my company perspective because I am the host of the event. So I'd add an update, image, video, document, hashtags, the usual story. And there you go. So that's events on LinkedIn. Um, they are sort of um, fairly new and fairly streamlined and at the moment, fairly lean. Um, and if you compare them to Facebook events, certainly they don't have the, quite the functionality yet, but it means you can invite your, your Facebook, sorry, get the words out, your LinkedIn network. So there you go. This is how to host a event from your company page. I'd love to know if you, if you would use this feature and if you've used it yet and if you've had any success. Thanks for watching.